two pillows and a blanket roll. So you can start getting those set up. Blanket roll will be under the neck. And one pillow horizontal on the mat, just under the blanket. And either a blanket, another blanket roll, or a pillow under the knees. It's warm today. So when you're all set up, um, start moving to the back. The middle pillow should be under the torso. Neck is on top of the blanket roll, and then arms can extend out to a T for um, a gentle back bend. Legs are resting on the second pillow at the bottom of the mat. Mm. Noticing how you feel this morning. Beginning to turn your focus inward. Noticing the rise and fall of the belly. Soften through the face, especially the eyes. Soften through the jaw. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Start to breathe into the belly if you haven't started that already. Notice where the air hits in the body at the top of the inhale. Simply collecting this information. interesting to think about the practice of yoga as an exercise in simply learning more about your own body. Every pose and every breath has the opportunity to give us a little bit more information. Tongue can come to rest on the roof of the mouth. They're open through the back of the throat. Moving into a three part breath, inhaling deeply into the belly maybe even eventually all the way down the legs. Chest expands, shoulders may lift a little bit.
continuing to focus inward, you notice the mind wandering at any point. You can draw it back, the center back to awareness. Give yourself permission to refocus on the breath when you feel it. Continuing to soften through the body as you take these deeper inhales and exhales. breath. Take a deep, deep inhale into the nose, down into the belly. And at the top of your breath, open the mouth wide, let out your tongue, and just sigh it out the mouth. Big lion's breath in and out. again if that feels good. Begin to bring movement back into the body. Rotate through the wrist, wrists and ankles. Open up fingers and toes. Take a deep stretch overhead. <sighs> Beautiful. And you're gonna bend at the knees. Gently turn onto your right side. to press yourself back up. Gaze can just flow down the slope of the nose. You need to make your way into a comfortable seat. You may want to use one of these pillows. Ooh. <laughs> or the blanket or um, under the sit bones your choice here. So sometimes it's nice to have the hips elevated a bit. It helps with the alignment of the body to move into some stretches, postures. So I'm going to roll out my blanket, refold it. Give me a little bit, a little bit of height under my butt. And for your seat, you can be in a cross-leg position. You can also be up on the knees if that's more comfortable for you. And then let's do some gentle shoulder rolls. Begin to roll the shoulders up to the ears and settling down the back. Without reaching up with the crown of the head, roll the shoulders forward, changing direction. Once you feel pretty evened out, open the arms to a T. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, 
flip the palms, press the tops of the hands together in front of you, rolling around through the spine. Inhale, open up the arms and hands once more. Exhale, back to the wrists together. Do a couple more of these in your own time, opening up. Finishing up the round that you're on. Drop the hands, drop the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Let's take the right hand up over the left side of the head and tilt the neck to the right. I'm sorry, tilt the crown of the head to the right. And then reach down with the opposite fingertips. Breathe into the neck. Second side, opposite hand comes to the side of the head, tilting the head to the left of the side. Right, right fingertips draw down, maybe, maybe even the back and so maybe it's a little bit of fine, but then nice stretch in the neck. Press the head back up. Inhale, arms up tall. Exhale, right hand to the left knee. Root down and rise up through the spine. Shoulders come away from the ears as you twist. center, and then, and then exhale over to the opposite side, with left hand, hand to the right knee, sitting, sitting up tall, gaze over the back shoulder. Just plant the feet, come up, up into a squat. So we haven't stretched the legs out too much yet. We're going to just do that right now. And the squat can be on the balls of your feet, but we get the hip, the feet hip width apart. Let's just kind of rise up a bit. Draw the shoulders back. 
Mm -hmm. Our arms went out to a team. Here's something um, here. And then you're going to roll forward. I'm coming into a standing forward. Feel free to keep a deep bend in the knees. Maybe rock the weight from side to side. And then lower back down to the squat, coming up onto the balls of the feet. Our arms come out to a T. And then, then wrap, wrap the arms around yourself in the opposite, opposite way, opposite arm on top. And inhaling deeply. And then, and then as you exhale, fold forward. Again, sway the body from side to side. You can, you can release, release the arms. arms. You may straighten the legs a little more, or you might just keep them bent. Feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. Take right, right hand, hand to left shin, shin and, then and then reach the left arm up, up toward the sky or we place it on the sacrum, moving, moving into a twist. And then back to center. Same, Same thing on the second side. side. Left hand right to right hand. shin, twisting, twisting open. to center. Awesome. And, and inhale, inhale, lift up halfway, shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale to fold. Inhale, twist with the arms up, up reach, reach all the way up, up to standing. Stretching up for exhale, hands to heart center. Step into the top of your head. Inhale, arms come up. This time, clasp the hands, release the pointer fingers, straight elbows, the sides of the face, and then side bend to the right. Inhale, back up the center, change the clasp of the hands, release the pointers. Inhale, up, and then exhale over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, pull all the way, the way down. down. Use the abs. You can just need to reach the front of the head forward. Inhale, left halfway. Exhale, <clears throat> step the uh, step the right leg back, and then come, come into a calf stretch. Just stretching through the back, back of the calf, and then maybe back. rock. Use the ankle here and the toes to push the ball forward, rocking back and forth. And then you'll pivot the back foot to a 45 degree angle, rise up for warrior one. Hips are square to the front of your mat. You can check, check in with your torso, torso by just placing your hand, hand there, there and, and pointers forward. Make sure, make sure your hips and torso are pointing forward. Feel, Feel the stretch down, down the back, back the front of the back leg. Arms, arms can lift up. Next, exhale, twist to the left, arms come out to a T. Inhale, back up, let's do that once more. Exhale to a T. Awesome. And then you're going to straighten through the front leg, keep the legs as they are, but you may want to shorten the stance a tiny bit, then send the back foot in just a bit. Um, um, if you're a flux, you can use them. That's optional here. We're going to come into a pyramid pose. So you'll, so you'll inhale, root down, 
were on the rise up through the legs. And then, and then exhale, exhale forward. forward. Send the crown of the head forward, forward, forward. And then, and then maybe pause halfway once you're really starting to feel the stretch down your hamstring and front leg. Option for blocks, you can begin to round through the spine, the spine and, come and come all the way down, eventually, eventually releasing the head, the head and the neck. Continuing to root down to the back foot, moving the outer edge of the back foot into the floor. Take that back foot down to a 45 degree angle, rising all the way up on warrior one. Again, the hips are square to the front of the mat, checking in, bringing your hands to the hips, fingers, uh, point your fingers forward. Rooting down to the outer edge of the back foot, and eventually rising into the arms. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twisting toward the right. Inhale, back up to center. Once more, exhale for the twist. Hands can flow down to the hips, straight, straight through the front leg. Again, again you can shorten the stance and tighten it in here. Continue to spread the hips to the front of the mat. Root, root down through the feet, pressing through the toes and the soles of the foot, the heels rising up. And then, and then exhale, send the crown of the head forward. Feel free to keep a bend in the front leg. Helps to protect the hamstring and your leg will help you. Pausing, Pausing anywhere along the way to just breathe into the stretch. Pausing, Pausing to realign your hips to the front of the mat. Equally, equally distributing the weight between the feet. But eventually, hands can, can lower, lower down to blocks or the leg. They can also stay on your hips. So send your air to the place where you're feeling this stretch. Notice how in micro movements you can really significantly change the stretch. Letting that go, shaking it out. 
Awesome. awesome. So, so today we're going to just end class, class with, with a, a um, legs, legs up the wall pose. And, and if you, if you haven't done this before, before you can always, you can always pause, pause your video here, here and get set up. So here's what we're, we're going to do. We're going to take your mat to a surface, surface like the wall. And um, um, you can also, you can also be on the couch. That's here. here. More, more accessible, and, and then, you'll, then set you'll set up your blanket so that, so that it's a little a couple inches away from the wall, but it'll be, it'll be under, um, it's going to be under the, the foot. And, and from, from here, here you, will you will sit, sit on, on the blanket, the blanket and, and one, one hip or flush to the wall. <laughs> This is generally the cleanest way to do it. If you're already, you're already right, right next to the wall, it'll be easy to keep your hips kind of kind of in there. So then you'll, so then you'll take, the take the legs and just begin to work your way up. up. So that they rise up and you can use the wall to rest, resting the legs. And if your setup is not go, your boy you can shift around and um, change, it change it up. You can also have a little, little under, under the head if that feels good. And this is where we're going to rest in Shavasana today. If you're pregnant, you're pregnant you don't want to stay with legs up the wall for too long. So maybe, so maybe after 30, 30 seconds to a minute, you can. Bring the, Bring the legs down, down and just come flat to the back. Ooh, I'm going to be here for a couple of minutes. Allow, Allow the, the eyes to close or the or gaze soft. to be soft. And the hands, the hands can come out, out to the sides away from the body. Palms, palms up to receive, to receive or palms, or palms down, down feeling, feeling a little more closed and closed. One more, one more deep breath, breath into the body. The body. And then open, and open the mouth, mouth and sigh it out. Where does, Where does what you feel like go here? Allow you you yourself to discard what is not serving. to make your legs wide, wide or, bring or bring the soles of the feet together. together. You can do that, do that at any point.
pretty much the back of the wall. Press, press the pin into the wall. Lift the lift lower, the back, lower back, back off. Floor, floor. Stretch it into the shoulders. In the back. In the back. Lowering, Lowering back, back down. Hugging, the, hugging knees the knees into the chest. Maybe, maybe giving yourself, yourself a little, a little bit more, more, more of a hug here. here. Press the tailbone down, down. as you're looking face in. Keep the, Keep the eyes closed as you roll to your, your right side. Closer to the gaze, a little dress your way to a comfortable, comfortable seat. Hands, hands, heart, heart center. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much for sharing your practice today. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.